good morning all of you in today's session we are going to start with csar net grf chemical signs december 2014 part c series 4 series 4 consists of 10 questions we are going to solve detailed question paper of the csar net grf chemical signs question paper in different series already we have been completed part b and which is available on the channel called world of competitive Com chemistry apart from this csar net grf chemical signs uh, june 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 academic year both the sessions including june and december question papers are available on the channel called world of competitive chemistry this kind of standard previous year question paper discussion will fetching you towards any uh, competitive exam if you are preparing for otherwise entrance examination like uh, net set gate msc entrance bsc entrance all these will be Uh, used to prepare by using this previous year question paper discussion and if you are really interested about research and that kind of research aspiration is also fulfilled if you follow this kind of uh, previous year question paper solving so let us discuss about today's concept csar net grf chemical science december 2014 part c series 4 consists of questions from 101 to 110 all belongs to organic chemistry let us go with question number 101 the major product for the following reaction we are taking pyran ring on this pyran ring here it is ch2 ome methoxy is there and one more methoxy group is there and here you can find the in either side chain with a very bulky group upon this so this will be treated with iodine in the presence of ph i oac taken twice ch2 cl2 being it is a solvent dichloromethane is a solvent and room temperature conditions are employed so what will be the final product in this reaction let us go with the detailed mechanism we are taking the starting material of pyran ring and added with iodine in the presence of this uh, what we can say palladium catalyst so here that catalyst when added so iodo group will be added at this position so this is the suitable position for the attachment of iodo functional group after the uh, iodo substitution being nitrogen is uh, lewis base and associated with one lone pair of electron this will participate in the ring cyclization subsequent remole of iodo being iodo is a better leaving group it will be discarded conveniently upon slight heating reaction uh, even at room temperature condition sorry because uh, within the reaction they mentioned rt room temperature is sufficient to remove this iodo functional group and this will participate in the ring cyclization you will achieve a four membered ring structure in this manner and the stereochemistry will be already existing group is uh, away from the weir so in order to get the cyclized product that obviously will get attached from the back end only because already existing functional group is indicated with the wedge bond so that it will not uh, come from the front side there is no possibility so only the option will be from from the back end so that we will achieve the bond with the back side product of this n phenylated product n pin uh, n phosphorus product so this will be the final product what we are getting in this reaction that is available in the option number 1 for question number 101 option number 1 is the right answer so within two steps the reactant converted into product what we are doing first we are doing iodination after the iodination ring cyclization by the removal of iodo so that here we will get a cyclic product bicyclic ring system will be generated so for question number 101 option number 1 is the correct answer let us move on to question number 102 the product a and b in the following reaction sequences we are taking cyclohexano treated with lda lithium diisopropyl being it is a strong base used to pull the hydrogen from this adjacent carbon with respect to carbonyl carbonyl adjacent to carbon having more provision to release h plus being it is acidic hydrogens so that carbene will be originated in the alpha position that will be treated with allyl bromide allylic uh, uh, alkylation is possible at a alpha position that will be the compound number a if you find so here uh, that alkylation carried on the carbonyl group that may not be correct in the first option you got the allylic uh, alkylation at the alpha position this is the correct answer di alkylation got carried but we are not adding that extent of uh, uh, star, uh, reagent here so that uh, di alkylation may not be possible and here you got uh, enol formation enol formation is also not possible in case of this one so being uh, 
uh, uh, this alkyl group having provision to attach with carbon rather than oxygen, so that here the product of formation uh, of option number four is may not be possible. Only the possibility will be option number one. From this only we got uh, confirmed the what is the correct answer for this. So later after getting compound number A, it will be treated with palladium chloride oxygen. Oxygen will be added here. So here uh, it is a kind of Walker's process. And the copper chloride dimethylformamide uh, will be added. DMF uh, water mixture is the solvent mixture so that we will achieve the product to be. So here, uh, Walker's process uh, reaction, which used to give wherever olefinic double bond is there, that in turn converted into ketonic functional group. Here is the correct answer. And further, it will be treated with sodium ethoxide and subsequently hydrolyzed. So it is converted into a cyclic product. Let us see the detailed mechanism of the reaction. We are taking cyclohexanone. LDA was added. Carbene will be originated at alpha center. And allyl bromide when added. So allylic uh, group will be added at alpha position. That will be the compound number A. It will be treated with palladium chloride oxygen called Walker's oxidation. Olefinic double bond turned into a ketonic bond. Now, sodium ethoxide. Sodium ethoxide is a strong base which will uh, generate carbene ion in the terminal center. That will participate nucleophilic attachment to the carbonylic uh, carbon so that oxygen will retain negative charge. And here is the five member ring formation with the double bond O group. Further, it will be added with the uh, water and uh, uh, that protonation carried at oxygen. So it converted into OHC double bond O. Now, Upon heating condition, this water and H will be removed and here the formation of double bond. This is said to be alpha beta and saturated compound because dehydration reaction got carried here. The final product will be this compound and uh, they are asking for only the intermediary steps involved in this reactant converted into product. One will be uh, alpha alkylated one and second will be a Walker's oxidation process. So both are suitably given in the option number one. For question number one or two, option number one is the right answer. Let us move on to question number one or three. Here, the product A and B in the following reaction sequence. We are taking an oxide type of compound and here olefinic, sorry, here olefinic double bond, here estalinic triple bond is there and a triple bond terminal center protected by trimethylsilane. And we are adding the reagent called uh, bis-carbonyl uh, Octa carbonyl CH2Cl2 uh, dichloromethane is a solvent here. So here trimethyl amine anoxide will be added. Here it is an oxide of uh, tertiary amine. Then we will achieve the compound number A. And further, samarium iodide will be added. Samarium iodide dissolved in the tetrahydrofuran solvent. Ethanol also working like a protic solvent, and we will get the final product B. Let us see the detailed mechanism of this reaction. It is a kind of electrocyclic addition. So photochemical reaction, you can say pericyclic reaction even. And here the product, final product, how the final product will be obtained. Let us see the mechanism. For that purpose, uh, we are taking the starting material and uh, this uh, carb uh, cobalt carbonyl compound is releasing one of the carbonyl. It is a source for carbonyl. So one of the carbonyl group released from this one, it will participate in the electrocyclization reaction. Here you can see two from this center, two from this center, two from this center will be participated. Two plus two plus two cycloaddition got carried here. Even though here triple bond is there, all the bonds not to participate in the cyclization. Only two pi electrons will participate. That's why you can say two plus two plus two cycloaddition reaction. So that here the cyclic product is generated with the uh, carbonyl group. When it participate, triple bond participate in one of the bond formation and the leftover will be C double bond O. Here you can find C double bond O. When acetylenic bond participate in the cyclization, here uh, more two bonds will be left. Uh, that will be indicated here. And uh, this anoxide uh, uh, will be um, converted into a cyclic product. Six membered ring structure got generated. Now this is the compound number. This is the compound number A. It will be treated with samarium iodide in the presence of tetrahydrofuran and uh, ethanol solvent uh, so that it got converted into samarium iodide is a suitable reagent for the conversion of reductive bond cleavage. Reductive bond cleavage is possible in between nitrogen and oxygen so that it turned into NH and uh, this oxygen converted into OH. This will be the open chain molecule which got generated as the final product in this uh, series of reactions. So the final product will be 
open chain molecule in this NHBO is will be there, and here CH2OH will be there. Uh, starting material got converted into a condensed ring system of SiMe3 will be there, and uh, this will be generated alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound which participated in the 2 plus 2 plus 2 cycloaddition. And finally, samarium iodide selective for this uh, cleavage of nitrogen oxygen bond, it turned into NH2C and also here CH2OH. So, for question number 103, option number 1 is the right answer. Let us move on to question number 104. The correct combination of reactions and the reagents are, we have to go with the combining reaction with their suitable reagent. The question given from the reagent chemistry, where we are taking N-formamide. N-formamide in turn converted into isonitrile. The suitable reagent will be phosphoryl chloride, which is taken uh, catalyzed reaction, catalyzed by tertiary amine, right? So, phosphoryl chloride in the tertiary amine, uh, N formamide, N formamide got converted into isocyanide. And the next is about uh, N hydroxythalamide. Upon treating with butanol, it will be converted into N butoxy. N butoxythalamide got generated. In order to get this, we have to perform the reaction called, uh, named reaction called Metzenober reaction, where triphenyl phosphine is treated with this uh, dodeca cyclohexyl compound. So, this is the compound which is used to facilitate the reaction of dehydration. And the third reaction is carboxylic acid treated with hydroxy. This is a compound called butanoic acid and this is called a butanol. So, that got converted into a corresponding ester. Simple esterification between carboxylic acid and hydroxy which is facilitated by sulfuric acid. So, if you see all the reactions, it, it is a very tricky question. In all the reactions, you can find the dehydration only. But based on the starting material, reagent got varied and the final product got varied. But the basic thing is in all the reactions, you are carrying the dehydration process. This is a reaction where you are going to eliminate H plus OH minus from the adjacent center so that in triple bond C got generated in the presence of phosphoryl chloride. This is a suitable reagent. In order to convert hydroxy hydroxy into ether group, this is a kind of reaction combination of two hydroxy terminal centers into ether group by the process called Mitsanobu reaction in the presence of triphenyl phosphine. Again, it is a kind of dehydration. In the third case, carboxylic acid treated with hydroxy. This is a simple esterification reaction. Again, you can find the dehydration between acid and alcohol. So that corresponding ester will be generated by dehydrating agent water. Let us see this N-formamide into nitrile with uh, phosphoryl chloride. Then uh, N-hydroxythalamide uh, treated with butanol in the presence of triphenyl phosphine. This is known as Mitsanova reaction. And uh, carboxylic acid and butanol formation of ester in the presence of sulfuric acid. All are available. Parmamide to NC, this Q option is provided in option number two and four. You may go with either two or four. Next, hydroxy compound into ether, Mitsunobu reaction, B with the P, B with the P available only in option number four. And C with R is also there. So for question number 104, option number four is the right answer. Let us move on to question number 105. The products A and B in the following reaction sequence are we are taking the starting material where you can find alpha amino acid. Alpha amino acid, acid with a terminal NH2 with the OH functional group. This is the amino acid called lysine. This lysine when treated with trimethyl silyl chloride. Trimethyl silyl chloride being it is a chlorinating agent. Carboxylic acid in converted into acid chloride in the presence of methanol protic solvent and followed by added with a trimethylamine upon heating. Heating reaction always facilitate condensation process. So it will be condensed in such a manner. So here, uh, here the terminal center acid chloride being it is highly reactive will be treated with amine. Uh, so that here cyclization got carried, you will get the compound A as the cyclized product. Later, it is treated with a cyclohexyl carbonyl chloride will be added in the presence of pyridine uh, mild base so that it will be N acylated. N acylation reaction got carried, we, we will get the final product B. Let us see what will be the series of reactions carried in this question number 105. For that purpose, I am taking the starting material called lysine 
added with trimethylsilyl chloride being it is a chlorinating agent here you can find acid chloride this acid chloride uh, treated with trimethylamine and heated so he, here chloro here hydrogen so that it will be condensed upon heating and we will get the seven membered ring system with the c double bond or nh group uh, called a lactam ring and this is the uh, seven membered lactam is called a caprolactam caprolactam is the very essential material for the synthesis of nylon right so this kind of caprolactam got generated now we are going to treat with uh, this uh, ac uh, acetyl chloride acyl chloride will be added then uh, always uh, always acyl chloride will be added selectively to hydroxy or nh2 within the compound we have so if we if we take oh and nh2 there is a compatibility nh2 will be obviously go with the acylation rather than oh what will be the reaction mechanism uh, proceeded with so in general acylation uh, most probably carried an oh and nh2 so both having provisions but uh, here only one equivalent of this uh, uh, acid chloride or uh, c double bond or cl is added so it selectively attached to nh2 rather than oh what is the reaction mechanism involved because oxygen being more electronegative it recites the electrons it will not participate in the donation towards this acetyl rather nitrogen with the one lone pair of electron will participate selective in the nacylation rather than o acylation so if nh2 is not there there is no second option only acylation carried on the oxygen but there is a compatibility so there is a uh, the, uh, there is a comparison between the strength of these two so being nitrogen less electronegative more prone to lose the electrons and will participate in the bond formation with this one we will get an acylation rather than o acylation that's the reason why you got the product in this manner an acylated product got uh, generated this is very tricky question because uh, we have to go for if we know the basic foundation of organic chemistry then only you can answer this right so here that question caprolactam followed by an acylated product is available in the option number 1 for question number 105 option number 1 is the correct answer let us move on to question number 106 the major product of the following reaction is we are taking a saturated pyridine ring with a c double bond o ch3 you can say this is a piperidine saturated pyridine is called piperidine with enalkylated and four keto and three methyl substituents it will be treated with pyrrolidine saturated uh, py pyrrole is called pyrrolidine pyrrolidine will be added so it is the kind of reaction called again it is a named reaction whenever ketonic group is added with this uh, pyrrolidine what happens there is a formation of enamine enamines are most important versatile uh, uh, starting materials in order to synthesize a large series of number of organic compounds in the organic chemistry so star enamine reaction is the uh, reaction which used to uh, generate so many type of final compounds so here whenever pyrrolidine is added to this uh, piperidine type of ring there is a formation of enamine is possible after getting enamine what happens you are going to add with this alkyl halide even though so many groups are there bromo cn coo et olefinic double bond only bromo is a better leaving group that's why you can consider this compound compound number 2 as a alkyl halide simply so that the this alkyl group will be added at this position because uh, uh, enamine will work like a nucleophile and it selectively reacted with any kind of electrophilic reagent electron deficient reagent so that here alkylation carried at this alpha position with respect to carbonyl later hydrolysis so here uh, this uh, whatever group is there that will be discarded in the presence of acidic medium and we will get the final product let us see what could be the series of reactions uh, occurred in this reaction uh, in this um, question number 106 we are taking the starting material that is an alkylated uh, piperidine added with pyrrolidine pyrrolidine uh, being nitrogen attached with one lone pair of electrons these electrons will be attached to the carbon carbonylic carbon so that in uh, c all c Uh, that carbon nitrogen new bond formation is possible and oxygen is acquiring negative nitrogen is acquiring positive because loss of electrons are possible so in order to compensate the charges proton will be shifted from nitrogen to oxygen so that corresponding hydroxy compound is generated later hydroxy on this position and adjacent hydrogen will be there so being uh, 
reaction carried under acidic conditions, proton will be added uh, to this water. So to this hydroxy and a corresponding oxonium ion will be generated. Oxonium ion being it is a better leaving group, uh, the lone pair of electrons and the nitrogen of uh, pyroleading will participate in the double bond formation and subsequent removal of water is possible. So that you will get a double bond N positive, which is called imenium ion. The intermediate generated at this position is called a imenium ion. This imenium ion subsequently involved in this uh, removal of hydrogen from the adjacent being it is uh, working like an acidic proton, it will be easily discarded and correspondingly, this sigma bond will participate in the double bond formation and this pi bond is moving towards that side and we will get the intermediate which is known to be enamine. This is a reaction called a stark enamine reaction. Now, it is added with this olefinic uh, bromide. So, olefinic bromide, you can say it is allylic bromide even because uh, the um, CH2C double bond C is there so that it is also considered as allylic bromide even. So whenever allylic bromide was added, bromo group and eliminated here, you can find car cation. Dark carbon matched at this position and subsequently lone pair of electrons and the nitrogen will be shifted and we will get double bond and here the alkylation got carried, alpha position got alkylated. Now there is a kind of reaction because here olefinic double bond is there, here also olefinic double bond is there within the reaction. So uh, that will participate in the ring cyclization and uh, you can achieve any other ring structure in this manner. So in this kind of cyclization got carried and subsequently you are going to remove water. So sorry, add water. So what happens this uh, imenium ion is there that got hydrolyzed and corresponding ketonic group got generated that can be represented in the bicyclic condensed system. So it is represented here. So that is available exactly in the option number one. So here stark enamine reaction got carried, subsequently alkylation and ring cyclization with this uh, uh, third carbon atom and we will get the bicyclic condensed system that is available in the option number one. For question number one or six, option number one is the right answer. Let us move on to question number 107. Again, it is a part of organic chemistry. The major product of the following reaction, we are taking a benzene ring. Here, N, N dimethyl amine is there secondary. Uh, you can say it is a tertiary amine. And in either terminal, we have a stellenic triple bond. And that will be added with tetracyanoethene. This is the compound called tetracyanoethene. And both subjected to heating. Simply, triple bond, double bond will participate in the photo cyclization reaction that is called a 2 plus 2 cycloaddition. When 2 plus 2 cycloaddition got carried, you will get the four membered ring structure. And subsequently, it will participate in the uh, very cyclic reaction. We will get the final product. Let us see how the reaction got carried. We are taking the starting material. Here, the estalinic bond, which is the reactive site on this benzene ring. And it will participate in the 2 plus 2 cycloaddition with this tetracyanoolefine. So here, one of the pi bond will be migrated. This pi bond will be shifted so that you will get this four-membered cyclic ring. One pi bond will participate in the new bond formation and the remaining more two bonds will be there here. So this is a kind of system. We are subjecting to thermal heating. Upon thermal heating, this pi bond is moving and this uh, bond is shifting because tetracyanoglycan group is highly sterically strained and it will become highly unstable so that it will readily participate in the ring opening kind of reaction and we will uh, cleave the ring so here the bond is shifting so that here carbon carbon double bond is originated this pi bond is moving towards the side so that we will get a kind of system with a less sterically strained c double bond c c and c n c double bond c c and c n so this will be the final product which is a stable one so, which is clearly available in the option number three. This is the question from uh, photochemistry and pericyclic reactions. A stellenic compound is treated with this uh, olefinic double bond two plus two cycloaddition. After the cyclization, thermal heating got carried. So that ring opening reaction got carried and we will get the open chain molecule in this manner. For question number 107, option number three is the correct answer. Next to move on to question number 108. The product A, B in the following reaction sequence are, we are taking N uh, ester methyl acetate, methyl carboxylate of indole and it is having side chain CH2SME3 and in either third position we have uh, 
double bond in imenium ion is there and ch2 s ph is there it will be treated with tetra boro ammonium fluoride tetra boro ammonium fluoride is a deprotecting agent so wherever uh, trimethyl silyl group is there that will protected by using this uh, tba af in the presence of dimethyl cyanide being it is a solvent used to dissolve the compound in that and 50 degrees temperature is the optimal condition in order to maintain the reaction and subsequently it will be added with this uh, the uh, this kind of system called a diketone and the olefinic double bond is there you can say it is the kind of system called anhydride anhydride this is a system called anhydride which will be added to the starting material and you could have to achieve the compound number a a will be heated and b final product b will be formed let us see what a, what are the series of reactions carried in this we are taking indole moiety and treated with tbaf called tetra butyl ammonium bromide it is indicated here around the nitrogen four butyl groups and uh, this counter uh, positive charge is balanced by f minus right so being it is a deprotecting agent used to convert this double bond is shifting here and this methyl trimethyl silyl group is eliminated uh, along with the bonded electrons and here exocyclic double bond got generated whenever bond is moving here carbocation is originated carbocation tertiary carbocation being it is stable one and this pi bond is shifting towards this side so that here there is a electron deficiency on the nitrogen so that will participate in the ring uh, sorry uh, that will participate in the reaction with the any other reagent what is provided within the reaction that is called in hydride and we will attach this entire alkyl group on this nitrogen you can simply say an acylation kind of reaction got carried and it will participate in the intramolecular diel solder reaction being it is a diene and dienophile it is so that ring intramolecular ring cyclization upon heating so that we will get a uh, tetramer so you can say 1 2 3 4 uh, tetracyclic ring system got generated the tetracyclic ring system you can observe in option number 1 only in the option number 1 tetracyclic ring system got generated and uh, this exocyclic double bond is one of the condition what we got so this is a compound number a exocyclic double bond is a compound number a diels solder reaction cyclized product will be the compound number b for question number 108 option number 1 is the correct answer let us move on to question number 109 here the major product formed in the following reaction sequence we are taking the dihydrofuran with the oh and ch2 ch2 o mom mom is the methoxy methyl group which is a selective reagent for the protection of hydroxy right so this kind of system was taken and it is added with the uh, etcocl etcocl you can say it is a acid chloride propenyl chloride it is in the presence of triethylamine base catalyzed reaction lda being it is the base used to get the carbene ion and thf will be added that is a solvent media tetrahydrofuran minus 78 extremely low temperature conditions will be cryogenic conditions will be employed here and a tetramethyl silyl chloride is added being it is a protecting agent for hydroxy uh, hydroxy group will be that means o group oxygen will be attached with this one we subjected to heating upon heating that entire group will be discarded and uh, for the subsequent hydrolysis in addition with ch2n2 and it used to give the one of the methyl group to the system let us see these many reagents are added how many first is about acid chloride second is about base third is about thermal condition fourth is about hydrolysis fifth is about the carbene ion these many reagents purely it is the kind of question from reagent chemistry and even you can take it as a heterocyclic reaction heterocyclic chemistry also be taking furan derivative right so uh, heterocyclic compounds treated with reagent compounds so let's go with a series of reactions in this we are taking starting material dihydrofuran have it and o mom so o is nothing but methoxy in the which protect oxygen so even the product also if you observe all the all the options even the product also here mom is not deep protected so need right yes here in the presence of triethylamine base this oh group is converted into oxide now 
that oxide is uh, treated with that oxide is uh, treated with the, this uh, what we can say propanyl chloride so here entire group will be added on the oxygen later lithium diisopropyl amide is added so that lithium diisopropyl amide will generate the carbon ion in the adjacent center with respect to carbonyl group here we have ethyl right so in the ethyl you can write ch2 ch3 from that one of the hydrogen discarded and you will get carbene. Now it will be treated with the tetramethyl silyl chloride. It is a protective agent for oxygen. When carbene is generated, that will participate in the delocalization. Canonical structures will be possible in order to stabilize this negative charge because in the conjugation, we have carbonyl group. That will be, that will be delocalized. So O minus will be generated and we will get a carbon-carbon double bond. Now it will be added with the TMS chloride and that O group will be protected with TMS or TMS tetramethyl uh, uh, silane will be added here. Now it will participate in the 3 comma 3 sigma tropic rearrangement. Let us number the carbon atoms 1, 2, 3 and he, here also 1, 2, 3 will be there. This pi bond is moving in between 1 and 2 so that here carbon-carbon double bond will be originated and this oxygen-carbon bond will be ruptured and this sigma bond will be moving towards this side and this pi bond is shifting so that here there is a formation of a, any other cyclic ring in between. Another, uh, another uh, rearranger product got generated, entire group is shifted towards this side and here double bond got generated because here the new double bond and this entire group is moving towards this side. This is called a three, three sigma tropic rearrangement. So it is a kind of photochemical concerted mechanism. Now it will be added with the hydrolysis water so that uh, wherever COO SIME3 group is there, this entire group will be discarded. Water uh, deprotect this oxygen. So here carboxylic acid will be generated that will be treated with the CH2N2, which is called uh, azamethane. Azamethane, when added to this uh, carboxylic acid, what happens that will be converted into an ester functional group in the terminal center. And the final product will be ester. That ester is available only in the option number four. There is no question of ambiguity. Everything is very clear. Only ester is available in the option number four. For question number 109, option number 4 is the correct answer. Let us move on to last question of the series. Question number 110. In the following reaction sequence, the structure of A and B are respectively. We are taking the starting material again. It is a kind of heterocyclic chemistry. And we are taking piperidine ring. Nitrogen being protected by Bach. And here hydroxy group is also there. We are adding iodine in the presence of PPH3. In the presence of imidazole. Right. So uh, iodine used to replace hydroxy so that here iodo group will be originated. So that is a simple reaction. Wherever OH is there, that will be replaced with iodo in the presence of PPH3 imidazole. So here the uh, uh, four iodo substitution will be there in option number one and two. This will be very clear. So either one or two may be correct. So compound A got generated. Now it will be treated with the compound benzene having chloro, cyano, bromo functional groups. But we have to go with the uh, reactivity of this compound. Chloro, cyano, bromo, among the three functional groups, bromo having better leaving efficiency. That's the reason why selectively this iodo compound, when added with this one, there is a kind of replacement kind of reaction. So here this kind of alkylation got carried on this one. So here you can get the cold product here. So this is the final product. Uh, alkylation got carried and a new carbon-carbon bond origination is possible. This is a kind of reaction, new carbon-carbon bond origination. Now let us see the entire mechanism of the reaction. We are taking n bulk containing uh, piperidine system with the 4-hydroxy functional group. 4-hydroxy n bulk piperidine is treated with iodine uh, dissolved in the PPH3 and imidazole. Hydroxy is simply replaced by iodo being it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. You got the compound number A. It will be treated with the benzene system with the chloro, cyano and bromo functional groups in the presence of zinc, palladium, PPF, chlorine, catalyst, copper, iodide. Now the simple alkylation got carried here and uh, we will get the entire system attached to this uh, one new carbon-carbon bond origination in between iodo and bromo functional groups. Both are discarded and here the new bond formation is possible. So that will be the, that will be the option number one. So 
for question number 1 and option number 1 is the right answer by this entire series of csr net grf chemical science december 2014 part c series 4 was completed so thank you very much for your consistent listening thank you one and all